everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Leandra the TBR Zero and my goal is to lessen my physical TBR one book at a time. I'm in the car today because I'm gonna take you with me for my first bookstore trip in 2024. I have a list here of have read books and some books that I haven't read yet, but I might wanna add to my library if they're in stock. So I'm gonna take you along with me. We're gonna do some shopping. And then afterwards, we're gonna look at the haul that I bring home with me today. I'm really excited. I haven't been to a bookstore in 2024. So this is kind of a big deal for me. It's also quite a drive. That's why I don't go to bookstores very often, but I'm, I was kind of feeling like I wanted to treat myself today. And also it's a gorgeous day for a drive. So let's go to the bookstore. I just left the bookstore and I'm coming home with an entire tote of books. I know, what am I doing? But honestly, I needed this day. It was really lovely to peruse the shelves, walk amongst other fellow book lovers, eyeing what they're grabbing, looking at the shelves and seeing books that I love and adore. And I'm so excited to see other readers end up picking them up, maybe bringing them home with them. I also saw quite a few books that are on my radar and either are already borrowed from Libby or Hoopla, or I have the physical book at home waiting for me to finally read it. So it's really nice to know that once I officially get to those books, if I do want to own them, this bookstore does have them currently in stock. It was just, uh, it was such a therapeutic experience and I wish that I had bookstores closer to me so I could do this more frequently, even if I don't go home with anything. I have actually come to this bookstore before just for a few hours to relax, to be amongst book lovers and gone home empty handed and it's been lovely. So uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna drive you all home with me and we're going to unpack this bag so you can see all the goodies I got. and. Uh, I'm so excited. Oh, this is lovely. Yeah, okay. Uh, stay tuned. I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, let's see what I bought. The first book that I picked up was the Tainted Cup by Robert Jackson Bennett. This one, I was so nervous. I actually didn't think I would be able to get it today because I went to the sci-fi slash fantasy section at my Barnes and Noble and there were other titles by this author, but this one wasn't there. And I was so upset, I was confused. And then I realized this came out February, 2024, 
only a couple months ago, so it's probably still on the new shelves. So I went back to the front of the store and they had two copies left. So I picked this up and I actually had a really good discussion with the cashier when I brought all of these books to the front because she said, oh my gosh, you got the last copy. I was meaning to buy that, but I'm really excited for you. And I told her, don't worry, there's one more left. And if that intrigues you, this is a Sherlockian fantasy mystery genre blend. And I actually have a five star review video coming out soon. I'm not sure if it's gonna come out prior to this book purchasing event or if it's gonna come before it. So keep an eye out either way. If it is out already, I'll make sure to have the link below. But but uh, yeah, this was a great book and I had to own it. Next from the bag is God Killer. I am really hoping that I can take this sticker off without there being any residue because honestly, these stickers are the bane of my existence. Yes, I ended up picking up God Killer. This is another book that I read prior to purchasing and I was honestly holding out for quite some time in hopes of getting a hardback edition, but the US didn't come out with hardback editions and all of the ones that I can find on Pango, eBay, or any other kind of reselling site like that have been astronomically priced, whether they're Illumicrate, Waterstone, Special Edition, or just the plain hardback, because people want an arm and a leg for them, and I'm just like... I love this book, but not for that price. So I ended up getting the very simple paperback and you know what, it's probably for the best. And I'm really excited because Sunbringer is coming out. Well, actually it is already out. I saw it, I said hello to it at the bookstore and it was very lovely to see. And I'm gonna be reading that next month in May with Julie from Keep Calm with Books and Coffee and Brittany from Brittany Loves Reading. So we're really pumped about it and I just, I had to add this to my shelves. So yeah, book two. I also have a five star review video for this as well. If you're interested, I'll make sure to link that below too. Another book that I read before I bought was A Psalm for the Wild Built by Becky Chambers. Oh my gosh, I absolutely adored this book. This was one of my first five star reads of the year back in January. And yet again, Becky Chambers is a really tough author to find being sold secondhand. On Pango Books, every other title by her had at least a few copies being sold, but I couldn't find anything in the Monk and Robot series. So I did end up splurging and bought this from Barnes and Noble and this was the only copy there. There wasn't even the second one, A Prayer for the Crown Chai, which I've also read recently and I also wanna own. So that's okay, I'll go back one day and get the second book in the series too. And this is where things got a little haywire. The two books that I'm about to show you are a continuation of a manga series that I absolutely adored, and they are Cat Plus Gamer, Volumes 3 and 4. I am so excited to continue this series. So I own books one and two, and they were the only volumes that my library had back when I checked originally. And so I decided to check out the manga section, see if they had this series. And when I noticed this, I was like, okay, you're coming home with me. I am just so excited about this. It follows a 29 year old woman who is very dedicated to her office work, but when she leaves the office, she's a completely different person. She's a gamer. And then she actually adopts the stray cat that they find in the parking lot of her workplace. And when she brings him home, she's just like, what's going on? I'm learning an entire new experience. I've never owned a cat before. And so she kind of treats it like it's a game as well. Like she's leveling up a character within this virtual real reality and it seems as though we have a second cat i knew this was coming so it's not a spoiler but i'm i'm so excited to meet the second addition to this little cat family that she's growing and it's it's the really the sweetest manga that you could ever see continuing with the manga i ended up getting volumes three and four of toilet bound hanako kan I really enjoyed the first two volumes. I also own those. And the reason why I bought this one as well is because this series actually isn't at my library. When I took a chance on volumes one and two, I was doing so knowing that if I don't like this, I'm probably gonna donate it to my library so they have at least the first two volumes. If it's popular, they can continue buying the series so that we actually own a series in the system, but I ended up really loving it. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna keep them. And now I decided to take a chance on volumes three and four. The same rule applies. If for some reason the series ends up not being for me, I'll just donate the entire volumes that I have 
to my library because I know it's going to get used and I think that's worth it anyway. But so far I've been really intrigued by this mystery series that follows, I think it's seven or eight mysteries within this girl's school and there happens to be a ghost who is attached to one of the girl's toilets and his name is Hanako Gun and it's just, it's very funny. The illustrations are gorgeous. I really enjoy the artwork as well as the storyline. So yes, adding these to my shelves too. I just realized that one of the books in this bag I can't talk about yet because it's for a vlog that's coming up. I'm honestly doing three or four on the go and I enjoyed it so much that I had to buy it, but I don't want to spoil the vlog, so I'm not going to tell you about it. So there is one in this bag that is a complete mystery and we're just going to live with it. Sidestepping that purchase that I can't talk about, I have one more book I got to talk about and that is Rivers of London. This is by Ben Aronovich and I have seen this book be recommended a handful of times on booktube. I think the last time was a book fiend named Mel. She was doing this video where she was recommending a book to a handful of booktubers and this wasn't the one recommended to me but it was recommended to someone else and I thought that sounds like my kind of book. It seems like it's a mystery genre blend and I'm really excited about it. I got the audio recently on, oh my gosh, I actually got the audio while I was book shopping and thought, should I? So I ended up buying it and I'm really glad I did because I didn't realize there are a handful of illustrations within its pages. So I think that's gonna be a really great immersive experience to have and again, if the worst case happens, I don't like this book, I can always donate it to the library, that's that's okay with me. But I don't think I'm gonna dislike it because it looks really great. <gasps> oh yes, I'm really pumped. Okay, well, those are all the books I can tell you about. Obviously I have some anxiety because I have added five books to my need to read list before the end of the year. The nice thing is that four of them are manga and this one right here, the audiobook just came in. So I'm clearly going to read it in the next month and I'm, I'm really excited about it. So I think it's going to be fine. And of course, I'm so happy to have these three books home with me because all of them received five stars and it was just, it was well-deserved. So I'm really excited to add those to my shelves. I hope you had a good time while you were perusing the shelves with me, seeing which books I was buying. And in the end, you kind of have a better understanding of my purchasing process, but my first book shopping experience of 2024, at least in person, has commenced. And I'm not sure when the next time I'm actually going to do this is, but I thought I would, you know, have a fun time and have you all come with me. So thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Other than that, I don't have much else for you. So thank you so much for going on this adventure with me today. I hope you agree with me that this was a success. If you have read the books that I bought that I haven't read yet and you've enjoyed them, please let me know. If you didn't, I'm also okay with you letting me know so I enter with appropriate expectations, but I'm gonna count this as a success. So thank you all so much. I hope to see you in the next one. Like, comment, or subscribe if you wanna join this community. And yeah, have a great one. Bye.